In this video, we're going to look at cleaning up the header, making sure that all the links work, integrating navigation, and then adding a second navigation for the shop. So to get started, what we do is we head over to Oxygen, we're on the templates page, and we look for the main template for this website. The main template contains the header and the footer, and we edit with Oxygen. Oxygen is loading. Oxygen loaded, let's have a look at editing the header page. So what we can do to start with is go over to the structure and let's have a look at the header. So we have two header rows at the moment, the top row and the second row, and then we have the main header. So the first thing that we want to do is add another menu and the menu that we will add will be here in the top header row. And we'll remove those two items. Let's remove that item, remove that item, and now we're going to add another menu. Add, we go to WordPress and we go to the menu element. We have a look and see, it's added it in the first row to the left. Let's scroll down, move that down, and let's put that in the far right. And the menu that we're going to insert there will be the shop cart checkout menu. That in place, we can adjust the spacing. So we'll leave that as it is for now. What we can also do is come across to the icons and adjust the Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram links. We'll remove that link. We'll remove that link for now. We'll remove that link. What we will do is add the YouTube link. And you'll see that once we add, the icon will appear. And we can also change the color of those icons. Use brand colors. And we can decide on a blank, a circle, or a square. So we will go with the standard YouTube icon there. And we hit save. So we'll see now on our home page that the menu has been updated. We can go to checkout, cart, let's update the link. At the moment we have an icon here for the website. We're going to replace that with some text and we'll call that tutorials. Make that a bit bigger and we're also going to then change the link associated with that page make it go to the home page that's saved and then we'll do the free trial button which we don't need at the moment we'll remove that and the menu will move over so that's all that we need to do to update that header we'll hit save We'll go over to the front end and you'll see now that when we click on the oxygen tutorials we go to the home page what we'd also like to do because of the overlay and to make the header stand out is to put a background color here with a tint just to make the top navigation and header stand out more on the overlays if we go to the back end we'll see that the header row under primary it has a background color and so does the second header row. However, the colors do not show on the front end. So one way to get around that, to fix that, is to go to header row. In this case, we'll give a blanket color for the entire header row. And we will go to advanced. We'll go to background and we'll choose gradient. In gradient, we can set colors and they do take effect. We'll add a color. We'll add two colors. We'll add white. And then we'll add white a second time. And what we'll do is the second white, we will make slightly lighter so that the gradient fades in. Then what we'll do is we'll go across to that header row. We'll remove that background color. And the second header row, we'll remove 
that background color. We'll hit save. We head over to the front end now, we refresh, and you'll see that there is a slight gradient in the background for the header, just to make it stand out a little bit more. Now what we can also do is give that a key line at the bottom just to help it stand out a little bit more. And we can go to borders, in that case, bottom. We'll choose a color. Let's make it... make it a solid and let's make it one pixel and save. And when we look at that on the front end now, you'll see that it just has that subtle key line to differentiate it when we're looking at different pages. Right, what we might also want to do is style that menu slightly differently now so that we don't have that key line along the bottom. Move over to menu, hover and active, remove the bottom border and now we can allocate a color. Oh, in this case, let's give it a nice blue. Active text color is white. And hit save. And now when we navigate to a page, Just wait for that to save. There we go. So now we have a nice bold indication of the page that we're on and we don't get any confusion with two lines along the bottom. Those are the different levels in our navigation. If we go to music, that's what music would look like and in clothing and under accessories. And if we go to hoodie, You'll see now that with that background, it stands out much better. When looking at the navigation, we did see that when we're in the shop section and we hover, that some of the navigation is very hard to read. So in order to fix that, what we'll do is we'll head over back to Oxygen, go back to our menu, and we'll go and have a look at the hover and active option. So at the moment, the hover background color is very light. So let's make that nice and dark. And let's make the text color white. And now the hover is much easier to see and we'll save that. We navigate to the front end now, we can go to posts. When we go to the shop now, you'll see it's much easier to see the navigation. Much easier to read. And then we still have checkout and cart. What we did notice is under posts we have some darker items. So when it comes to the lighter post, very nice, easy to read. Let's have a look at a much darker post. For example, let's have a look at that one. And we'll see that the navigation is really quite difficult to read. So is the logo very hard to see. And we'll check one more item just to get a feel for what we need to do. And that one is fine. And let's have a look at that one. So all, all of these are okay. The only one where we have an issue is under posts is when we go to the really dark post and we can't see what's happening. So in order to fix that, let's head over to oxygen. We're gonna select the menu and what we're going to do is the actual menu, we're going to give a background color. We're gonna make that background color white and we'll give it a gradient and we'll head over to the oxygen tutorial. We'll do some spacing. And we will give that a background color. We'll make that white. And we'll also give that a gradient around 70. We can leave that at 60, hit save. So now when we refresh that page, we'll see that the menu item and the logo will have that white text that pops up, making it easy to read. 
when we go back to the home page, remains relatively unaffected. And when we look at some of the other posts, you will see that the menu just helps to enhance the and pull our eyes to the areas of interest. What we also might want to do is remove that key line there. It's a little bit distracting. Head over back to the menu. Advanced, we'll go to borders, unsettle borders, save, head back to that page and you will see that that key line is now gone and with the menu now with the white background it's no longer required to differentiate it from the top menu. So that's just a little trick that we can use to create a, a more visible menu. Let's check that again. And there you have it. Looks really cool against that top background. Great. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed that video.